Hello, I'm Charlotte Collins and welcome to The Sherlock Show. Today, we're chatting about a bit of everything from how to wear colour, summer beauty rules and new cool brands to know about. But first, let me introduce our wonderful guests. I'm joined, well, I'm supposed to be joined by fashion stylist Nana Achiampong. Sadly, Nana has been caught up at Heathrow. So, the seat is here in her, <laughs> in her name. But anyway, that aside, we've got the fabulous Estée Lalonde and we've also got Federica Labanca, both fabulous content creators. Estée, you've got your own brand. I mean, we could go on about all the wonderful <laughs> things you do. Um, so welcome, first of all. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. We've got to talk. I mean, so Federica, you, you really fly the flag for fun, colourful fashion, as does Nana. So us two neutral gals are going to have to take a back seat for this first chat topic. But Federica, let's, so many people are so scared of colour. And now's the time, right? Like it's summer, yeah. the sun is shining. So what are your rules for doing colour and doing fun fashion right now? It's actually crazy because I was part of your club. Mm -hmm. um, especially during lockdown and then I feel like I switched eras I broke up with my ex I left, <laughs> I left Prada which was my big big job for okay. six years I moved home um, and I feel like I kind of blossomed mm -hmm. into my actual style and in my own self mm. so I decided to wear a lot of colors and I would say this is how I'm if I'm not wearing color I don't feel as confident now mm -hmm. and as comfortable so my rule is, I used to be a freak with like, okay, green doesn't go with pink mm. and the pink doesn't go with red, but now the more the better. Mm -hmm. I feel like now I'm really having fun with color. Um, I normally, the way I build it is normally um, a bottom mm -hmm. and then uh, I kind of go with the accessories and then I see what I'm feeling with the top, but I normally try and do like either very coordinated or very like opposite, like green and pink and now I love. And actually, if you see my feet now, it's really green and pink, which yeah. is quite pathetic. But yeah, it's <laughs> good. Like, it's a good match. That's, that's yeah, I, I'm loving color at the moment. So more is more. More is more. Is the vibe. I say you're a bit more of a, a minimalist. I want to be you. <laughs> I want to be like this. When you walked in today, I was I was shook to my core, <laughs> and I was like, I feel a little dismal today. No, not at all. <laughs> Very chic. However, I do wear, you know, pops yes, of color. Yes. So I have the little pink Chanel's and I always wear a colorful bag. Not always, but I try to. Mm -hmm. um, but I could definitely get inspired <laughs> by you. But I just don't have the, I, I know it's like you need, okay, do I need the confidence to wear it or does it give no. me confidence? Which way around is it? I think it gives you, I can go both ways. Like I'm kind yeah. of like this today because it's easy. I'm going to the office, but then I can sometimes go, yeah. maybe not this fabulous, but I sometimes <laughs> go a bit more colorful. But I always feel if, when you find the thing that feels like yourself, exactly, that's the yeah. thing that gives you the most confidence, yeah. right? Like yeah. we've got girls in the office who would feel absolutely their best in a white shirt and blue jeans. And yeah. yeah. Prob you know, so it probably yeah. is that you find your yeah. own style. Do you agree, Federica? Yeah, no, I totally agree. And I feel like my wardrobe used to be like black, white and beige, like up until a year ago. Wow. So it took time to build it. But now, um, like a simple dress, if I would normally go for a black, like for black, mm. I would now go for pink. Yeah. Just to make it more fun. Small changes. Yeah, exactly. Small changes. exactly. And then eventually. Eventually. <laughs> we'll all come Circus. out. Green yeah. butterflies. <laughs> um, one rule then, if you know, if you are if you've got a very neutral wardrobe yeah. and you're looking to make it a bit yeah. lighter, what do you? how do you begin? What one Shoes. thing should you buy? Shoes. Shoes. Well, there you go. Yeah, I'm, I'm the, telling you, I'm beginning. Look at that. It's the beginning, yeah. Yeah, okay. I do feel, when I wear these, they're so out of character for yeah. me. Okay. I do feel amazing in them. There it's really weird, so I totally see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. we'll have you back in a year and you'll be in. <laughs> yeah, Head's exactly. so green, I'm sure. Um, all right, now, whilst the weather gods are playing ball and we have another amazing weekend of sunshine ahead, it's a great time to make the most of outdoor entertaining. So, Alexandra Dudley is here with two crowd-pleasing recipes. Hi everyone, I am Alexandra Dudley. I am a food writer based in London and I am gonna show you two of my favorite recipes for summer entertaining. They're both really easy and they're both things that you can kind of get head on. So I'm gonna start with one of my favorites which are seeded spelt crackers with Comfy garlic, lemon, and lab name. I'm gonna start by getting on with the crackers and we're gonna measure out our flour. Using spelt flour for this, I really love spelt flour. It's got a really nice kind of nutty flavor to it. You want about 275 grams of that. The beauty of this recipe is that you just shove it all into a food processor. If you don't have a food processor, don't worry, you can do it by hand, but I am quite lazy, um, so I'm just gonna pop it all into here. So this, the flour's going in, 
don't have to do this any in any particular order, but I am gonna do it this way. So then we're gonna add some white sesame seeds. So you want about two tablespoons of them. And then we've got some black sesame seeds. And then I'm gonna add some nigella seeds, which have a really lovely flavor. And you only want one tablespoon of these because they are quite strong. And then we're gonna season them. So I think it's really important to kind of season your bread and your crackers. It's often something we forget about. I'm gonna use some really lovely Molden sea salt flakes, which is my favorite salt to use. Got these really lovely, generous flakes, which we're actually gonna use again later. But they're just going into here with the rest of the dry ingredients. And I'm gonna give it a quick pulse. And then we're gonna add the wet ingredients. So it's 150 milliliters of water and then 100 milliliters of olive oil. You wanna just pulse it again, just until it comes to a dough. So we're gonna roll it out. And I love to use these kind of silicon baking mats. They're really great. They're kind of reusable, recyclable, um, and they make it really easy just to kind of pick up and put onto a baking tray. But if you don't have that, I recommend just using some baking parchment and flouring that just so that you can lift the whole thing up and put it onto the tray. You wanna get it nice and thin as well, so go wide with the flour. Just roll that out nice and thin. Cool, so you're looking for about, I guess, the thickness of maybe a one pound coin. Um, and then we're just gonna paint them with some more olive oil. And once that's done, you wanna season again. And this is where this salt is so good for this because you get these really beautiful big flakes. So just go all over, quite generous again. You really wanna see some of those kind of salty flakes. And I'm getting them into the oven. My oven's set at 180 fan and they're gonna bake for about half an hour just until they're really nice and golden and crisp. As they bake, I'm gonna get on with the confit garlic and lemon. And that does involve peeling a whole bulb of garlic, but it really is worth it. You can use a knife. I tend to sort of just squeeze the garlic and then find that the skin is kind of relatively easy just to peel away quite cleanly. And then you don't have to do this, but the lemon does add a really good flavor. So you want to go quite thickly and just peel away a little bit more than just the zest, so almost the pith as well. And then you've got these nice big thick pieces and you wanna just cut them into thin strips just like that. And they're gonna cook with the garlic and they're gonna give the olive oil a really delicious flavor as well. And then if you have it, a little bit of rosemary or thyme is quite nice in there as well. Just adds a bit of flavor in there. And then you want to cover at least the garlic with olive oil and that is gonna just go onto the hob on a really, really low heat for about half an hour. So this rather funny looking thing here is the labne, and I started making this yesterday, and all it is is Greek yogurt. You wanna get good Greek yogurt, and I've put it in to this little bag, which I think is used for making nut milk, and you can see all the liquid has sort of drained out of it overnight. So I've just had it hanging like off a cupboard overnight. And it just means that you get a really lovely, thick, creamy yogurt. So that's just gonna go into the bowl. And with everything, we're gonna season it as well. So we're gonna use some more of our sea salt. Just wanna give that a stir, basically. So that's just gonna sit until everything's ready. I'm gonna get on with our second dish, which are charred spring onions with a witch ricotta and then a kind of green salsa, so like a salsa verde. So you wanna get two bunches of spring onions, drizzle them with a good amount of olive oil and season them again with sea salt. Just use your hands to kind of get everything nice and coated. And then you wanna get them into a hot oven, so about 250 degrees. And they're just gonna cook for about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how hot your oven is. And next, we're gonna just whip some ricotta, just pop that into the bowl, and then again, we're gonna season it with some salt. Some fresh lemon is really nice, so just get some lemon zest in there. And then you're just gonna whisk that all together. So that can just set aside. And then we're gonna make a salsa verde. I'm gonna keep it really simple, and we're just gonna use some fresh mint, parsley, 
lemon, sea salt, and then capers and olive oil. Start by just taking the mint leaves off the stalks. I'm a bit lazy when it comes to parsley. You could, one by one, peel off all the leaves, but I tend to just go a bit rough and ready, sort of peel it halfway. So once you've got your herbs, just gonna give them kind of a rough chop. It's up to you how thick you go, sort of how patient you are, I guess. And then I've got about a table, generous tablespoon of capers and just roughly chop them. And then you're gonna get that in with the herbs. And then you want a small clove of garlic. Just wanna finely grate that in there. And then about a tablespoon of sherry vinegar. I really love sherry vinegar, but you could use red wine vinegar. And then olive oil and a good pinch of sea salt. And you just wanna stir that up so you get a nice kind of spoonable consistency. Okay, so spring onions out of the oven. You can see they're really lovely and charred. You're just gonna let them sit and cool slightly whilst I work on the crackers. So what we have basically now is a giant cracker crack kind of randomly we're gonna layer them up onto a plate and you can really see as well that lovely kind of salt and the way those crystals have really held their shape so labneh's out the fridge and you can see our garlic and lemon is finished and the garlic has gone really delicious and jammy and we're just gonna plate up the labneh i like to make like a little bit of a sort of swoosh sort of get Lots of these really delicious garlicky bits on. And that really yummy lemon, look at it. It's almost candied, but in a kind of savory way. And it is honestly just delicious. Just get that sort of everywhere. A little bit of sea salt, just to finish it off. And this beautiful oil, just a little bit on there. And then we're gonna do spring onions with our witch ricotta. Scoop it up onto the plate, twist the onions sort of around always quite nice and then you've got that really lovely salsa just spoon that sort of all around the edges just like that so there you go you've got two really simple summer dishes a labne with comfy garlic and lemon some really good seedy spelt crackers and then a whipped ricotta with charred spring onion and a salsa verde these are perfect for kind of summer entertaining. Eat them as a side, eat them as a starter. Enjoy. I, I literally love that video for all the summer vibes. I have never cooked spring onion like that before. I don't know about you guys. I don't Me cook, neither. so. Oh, okay. Oh, you don't cook at all? <laughs> okay. What do you do then when you're in the mood for like a summer outdoor like vibe? Like a little hummus, mm. a little crackers. I will yeah. go for a cracker. Do you make the crackers though? I do not. Okay. <laughs> no, make, making crackers I feel like is a level up. Like I might yeah, stick that, and spring onions. It actually looked easy. It did look she, easy. She made it look easy. She did make it look easy. Sure you're, come on, you're Italian, you must cook. Yeah, but I don't, but yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah. What do you make? <laughs> What's your signature dish? I feel like it's pasta with fresh tomatoes. <sighs> Just because you can make so, that. That can be but, your but signature just dish now. It's so simple that it's actually different. Like to make exactly. it right. Yeah, that's true. You that's know, true. to make it right, it needs to be right. Yeah. What's, what's the secret? White wine, I think. Oh, white wine in the in the tomatoes. Okay, we're going to need that recipe yeah. later. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's move on. Let's talk about beauty. Esther, you are the founder of Mirror Water, the very popular Mirror Water. Thank you. So we had to tap you for your summer beauty rules. What do you do? How do you mix it up? Well. Exfoliate. Mm. Oh. Exfoliation is key. Mm. And we often talk about our faces, but you know, I have a bath and body care brand. So I'm all about the body exfoliating the body. Even this morning, I exfoliated my legs so pasty, so scaly exfoliated, I feel like a new woman. I really hope you're not looking at the bits of my flesh that are on show right now, because I am, I, I've got a spray tan tomorrow. This is about two weeks old. Let's, I, I, I won't be commenting on exfoliation. Um, okay, that's number one. Your skin, I mean, you are so glowing. What's your secret to good summer skin? Okay, I just love illuminators in all forms. So I'm using the Lisa Eldridge. She has this like highlight highlighter, mm. but it's, what I use as my base. So I don't Ooh, use it as a wow. highlighter. I put it all over my face. I don't powder. Mm -hmm. I just roll with it. So okay. it's all about exfoliation, glow, 
hydration. Sorry, talk to me oh. about putting a highlighter all over your face. Is it like a gel? It's a like cream. A cream. Mm -hmm. And instead of just putting it here, I mm -hmm. just put it all over my face. I love that. Oh, love and then that. I use concealer and I don't use foundation. Okay. I just use concealer on the areas I want and just keep it pretty light. Okay. Yeah. And any skincare tips, facial skincare tips for the season? I think we need to be using vitamin C mm -hmm. every day, SPF 50 every day. Are you doing it? Yeah. Yes. Plus. Yes. Plus. Every day, mm -hmm. even if it's raining. Mm -hmm. So those are my secrets that those aren't really secrets. <laughs> rules, <I laughs> Federica, what, what about you? Um, so I don't have that skin because <laughs> that's actually perfect, but or that skin. No, no, no. <laughs> so I actually have acne-prone skin. Mm -hmm. So I'm very. I have a very sensitive like mm. everything. Uh, because I've used retinol for the longest time, my mm -hmm. biggest tip is SPF. Yeah. And I actually use 50 plus every day. Mm -hmm. I've been using it for 10 years. And I is, actually. Is there one in particular? Sorry. Um, ultraviolet, oh, yes. I use because it's the only one that's like 50 plus. So, so good. It's good, right? And it smells it's like the roses. Best. It's, it's the best. So good. The best. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually saw a picture the other day of this um, old lady that used SPF on her face her whole life, mm. but not on her neck. Mm. Oh my God, you should have seen it. Don't well, your the neck. difference mm. is insane. So okay. now I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get it done. Yeah. yeah. Oh, do we forget about the neck yeah. until it's too yeah. late? We yeah. do, okay. And um, both of you also have epic eyebrows. Can you just talk me through your brow routine very quickly, both of you? I don't really do anything. It's just oh, you're one of them. <laughs> oh, so annoying. Okay. But don't really, okay. you don't wear makeup. I don't wear anything Okay, brow, well, so. I am not blessed with those <laughs> eyebrows. I have to do threading. I'm using okay. the growth serum, <laughs> like the oils. I'm tinting. I'm doing it all. It's the lot. Okay. It's a full blown, full time job okay. to have these eyebrows. With high maintenance stuff. You should count yourself lucky. You have amazing eyebrows. Well. Yes. I mean, you should see them without pencil. There's, oh. they're, they're, they're like from about here to about Same. here. I mean, they're shocking. Nothing there. But thank God for Charlotte Tilbury. That's what I'm um, all right. Next up is a bit of behind the scenes. Let's see what Georgie got up to last week. Good morning. Hey Georgie. Hiya. How are you? Very well. Nice to see you. You too, you too. What a glorious day. Lot of time, we've got a busy day. Parsons Green at the moment. We're starting at Katie and Joe. Katie is a friend. She's got lots of new summer fashion. I was gonna say spring, summer. It's definitely summer now, isn't it? We're gonna go and have a look and see what she's got in store. It's one of my favorite boutiques. I love Katie, I've known her for a long time. Then we've got a recording, an interview for our EIRs. We're launching an extra important weavers program uh, with exclusive content, offers, perks that for our extra important readers. Then we've got a meeting with so post and then we've got the taste of London. I'm Food excited Festival. for that personally. Are you? I'm very Good. excited for that. I will be by then. I'm starving. <laughs> I've already boxed today, been to the office. Also loving the outfit. Thanks. What are we what are we wearing? It's Paper London. They sent it to me yesterday. Thank you, Paper London. I love Paper London. Um, it did come with the jacket. But it's 25 degrees already and I definitely don't need it today. You do not need that. Um, but yeah, it's a goodie. It's a goodie. Hang on now. Yeah. Hi Katie, will you talk us through some of your new pieces, new brands, what's selling well? The Goldie, which isn't a new brand, but we've had it for a couple of years now, it's just selling really well. We've just got in this maxi skirt, there's a waiting list for it, and we literally got it in last week and it's been selling nice. super well. It's just the right length, it's really... That's a gorgeous really nice. fit. Yeah. She's just killing it. Aww. It's amazing, it's so cool. And then this is a suit from Second Female, which I am loving. This is really nice. This is our sort of bread and butter brand. We sell a lot of it. It's such a good, affordable brand. Yes, they've got a couple of things. They used to sell on ASOS. Did they? Yeah, oh, at the beginning. At the yeah, beginning. They did. This is a new brand for us, Amazing Hotel, which is Spanish. And do these really cute little um, cotton dresses. The Saffin, which I think you know, I think you're a big fan of the yeah. show Lux. We've got a few of their dresses. Um, and they, this is just a really easy linen dress. Nice. There's also one with the green green running through it just down there. It's a nice fabric, isn't it? I love that. Um, this is the Hodge, Hodge suit oh, that's yeah, sold I out. Oh, I did see. <laughs> These are so cool. I know. I saw some over there as well in pink. What is it called? Dustiana. So where are you, are you going to sound pink? No, I'm not. I feel like I should be. I want to go to Santa Fe now. How cool are they? What price are they? They are 180. This is one of the best candle brands ever. I know. They're so chic, aren't they? Oh my God, they're the best. I remember going to a hotel years ago and they had, I think they do ones even bigger than this, don't they? Yeah. But I mean, they're quite expensive. They do like a sort of leopard 
Have you seen those the ones? Pearl, yeah. I remember going to a hotel and they had them all, all the way, way yeah. and the smell was just incredible. Yeah. What does one of these cost? That is 180. I'm bigger than my head. <laughs> and this is nice. What brand is this? And this is the new brand Sheikert Bags. Really cute, really they come in cool. lots of different... Oh, what else, what else? So, shorts, the Goldie shorts always sell super well for us. Um, nice. It is pretty boiling outside. And they're made, which is our beach wear sort of label. I'm wearing a skirt and they do these really gorgeous little oh. jackets. Cute. <laughs> Just put oh, I love underneath. that. That is so cool. That second female. Second female. That is so pretty. That is so pretty event dress section and we've an even more I don't know if you've heard oh, yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and this is a new shape for them which have been selling lots of these for Ascot. The polo is round the corner, I mean it was like sort of walking yeah. Casey uh, and Joe really. Well we had lots of people coming in and changing their outfits. Did you? Because they were too hot. So what, they were on the coming day? in and buying dresses oh and shoes. Oh my god, amazing, yes. love it. Saw them feet. That is fab, isn't it? You look amazing on you. This is, you know, suit, I think it's gorgeous for weddings. Yeah, I was looking at that actually the other day. It's really nice to see it in the flesh. Really gorgeous linen from Italy. I love that colour. That shape is just brilliant. I love that colour, that's so nice. Um, and then these little coals from Rails. <laughs> so well. cute. That kind of muslin is just so nice. These little bits are made. They're doing really cute tops this season. A bit of shirt. I, I like a bit of floral on yeah, something of... darker. God, you've got loads of rails. Does that yeah. sell really well? Yeah, selling really well. They're so good. I love them. Aren't they fab? <laughs> and any other accessories that we haven't or jewellery? That's so lovely. They should like to make large bags if I don't like that. With these are the camellia, which sells, sell really well for weddings. We've got them in white. Really easy cool. to wear and just so comfy and a really good block heel. They're really good flattering on the leg, really good length and really reasonable. They're 180. So. Are they? Yeah. I love those with some denim shorts. Yeah. That's a good look, isn't it? Yeah. Fab, amazing. God, you got such lovely stuff. Can I have a, can I have a bit of a try on? Yeah. All right. Oh, Gotta try that. Really that's really cool, cool isn't it? Like with, yeah. not with Hodge's suit. That's sold out, obviously. Love that. It's really nice. Who's that? Sunku, you have such good brands. 126 quid. You see, this is why you need to come to Katie and Jay people. The pricing is so good in here. I'd like to try on everything, but I won't. How much is the Rails tank? Gosh, you're really testing me with the prices. I know, sorry, I always do that to people. <laughs> Revising my price list. 88. Gee, I feel like I've got to try that no, on. I feel like you know my taste, everything you pulled out, I now want to try on. That's What's your fun. limit? How many items are you allowed? What do you reckon, Henry? I reckon go five. Five? Are you Absolutely not. They're amazing, aren't they, those frame jeans? It's hot in here when you die. I love this brand. That's amazing. It's quite hard to see when you're wearing white, but look, can you see the silk lapel? It's very cool. It's 4 90 it's not cheap. That is L'Agence. That's Rails, 170 Really nice skirt. Nice colour, it's slightly off-white. Right, I think I've probably got enough here. It's more than five, but... I know it is more than five, but you know... I'll let you off. I'm that person that goes into the Zara chain room with literally 30 items. You always have good rings. I've got a lot of rings on today. Love that. <gasps> That's amazing. That's Uno. Oh, that's amazing. Look at that. Isn't it cool? What is that? 75 quid? Oh, amazing. Uh, like, oh, I love that they've done those trousers and that they're a bit thicker. It's really cool, isn't it? Those are the medium trousers. I like that they're that big. This is nice. Really nice. I love this brand. I think this cardigan's yeah. really got real Chanel vibes, hasn't it? I've really got the wrong underwear on for this. I've got white pants on. Can our readers just I'm gonna stand like this? <laughs> anyway, it's really cool. It's new pay tennis on top of the pill. Really nice. I love Amber. That's my fave. Oh, they've got stories. This is one of my absolute faves. I wear this loads. Mm, so good. So good. <laughs> Literally one of my faves. I mean, this is classic me. <laughs> Something this new and white. You can white guarantee. Fit in the car and. Can you can't see anything out. The plug is actually bigger than the trainers. I have used them on a train before. Thank you for having us. Bye, Thank you, Katie. Bye. Bye. Nice to see you. Bye. 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 See, you see you later. See you later. Lunch. Let's get some lunch. Can I have the Avo and halloumi? 
cut my own hair yesterday. Anyone really thinks cute? I'm high maintenance? <laughs> my husband was telling me I needed to shop less. I was like, do you know I cut my own hair? Anyway, that was great. She's got lovely stuff in there. If you're watching this thinking, oh, I like the look of that one, I bet it's really expensive. I'd say this sort of sweet spot is about 150. There's lots between sort of 150 and 250. That Lajon's jacket I tried on, which was beautiful, that was 490, but that's pretty toppy for them. It was much at that, that price point. Yeah. She's very good at knowing what her customer wants. She's got a good eye. Child of dream of running a running a shop. But we're in this world of digital, but digital is really it's expensive to get into digital and compete with the big players who have big analytics, e-commerce teams, etc., etc. And Katie's website does well, but she's got a shop that does really well. So it's cool that in this modern age, you can have a really nice lifestyle and do well from a store. Anyway, it's well worth the visit. We are now leaving SW6 and we are heading to, where are we going? We are going to Hammersmith. Hammersmith to see Lucy Williams. Fingers That's what we're going to do. We're doing a Sherlock's team viewing of the Kardashians episode. Hello. Hello. How are you? Oh my god, you look glorious. So you. It was so hot, but I was like, well, this you look fab. Where very, are you from? Very breezy. Cecily Benson. Uh, I'm so excited we're in your house. Come on, come on. This is it's like a sauna in here. Oh, but it's hey. It's how like a sauna. How are you? Doing? Jessica was like, we're not going to do it at Lucy's house. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I really wanted to go and have a good look at Lucy's house because I've seen the photos. For having me. Thanks for being nice. Oh, yeah, so it's been nice. nice. This is our first, this is for our EIRs. Yeah, okay. Um, so it's like only only the best interviewees Exclusive. for our EIRs. So oh, you've got to start with it. Just no pressure. Um, so yeah, it's our 10,000 most engaged readers. Oh, my God, you're just, you guys are just, I feel like you're just constantly growing and doing amazing things. Lucy, who's the art lover in your household? Me. Gorgeous. We just, I just launched a little ancient Greek sandals collection. Yeah. Oh, can we see them? Um, yeah, I can run upstairs and grab some. Oh, go on, go on. <laughs> These are a few little pieces. There you go. Oh, flip flops. We designed a new bag. You can tell she genuinely likes them because she's worn them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, done that blue, is so cool. We've done a blue one as well. So this is all ancient Greek? Yes, part of my new collab. Actually, I'm wearing these ones as well. Oh, I've they're put them really on. They're really nice. Yeah, and they all come, they're like different shades of brown. That's brown, well, brown, black. And we made little hats in this as well, because I do love a, I love a raffia hat. You love a hat. So yeah. And how's your new Mr. collection gone? It's going really well, yeah. Are those, are those... These are them, little two to This is just like an adaptation of ones we did before, but we've done gold and silver. Well, I did all the t interiors myself. Did you? Yeah, had like some, I'm lucky that I've got a couple of friends and friends of friends who are interior designers. So Jess Summer helped me design the island. So and Thea Speak is a friend, and so I had like sort of an hour. Like she came. She knows the right way. people to make her house. Yeah, she came. The art, you're into art. I love art. Yeah. Pieces. Getting increasingly, pieces. getting increasingly into it as well. I know. Yeah. I feel like the older I get, the more I yeah. it. What colour is this? This is. Do you know um, the little paper and paints in Chelsea? Yeah. Um, it, it's just called. I think it's called Sky Blue. So How long did it take you from start to finish? Eighteen months. I mean, obviously, like you have moments where you're like, oh my god, please can this be over? I just want to like live normal life and live in the house. And then when all the builders left, I was like, oh. Quiet. I mean, you really missed them, didn't you? <laughs> I really did. Just to come one. back and be like, do you just want to pop round? Snagging, snagging. I've got that. I mean, I yeah. can constantly. I like them to come back every few months and touch up. Yeah. This blue, people are going to be asking now, what colour is that? I think that, that is blue? my most asked question on my home Instagram account is what colour is this blue? And it is Farrow and Ball, an archive colour called Yonder. He's really beautiful. So He's so chilled now. Of course he is. He's sitting on Maker and Son's sofa thinking like, <laughs> like It was right. bought specially you... to like match him so the hair wasn't an issue. He's like, no, I think I'm... Oh, he's yeah. like, hi, oh, yeah, you <laughs> see, you like that, don't you? We sort of lost a few years, so then I keep saying, oh, that... <coughs> Thank you. Are we ready to rumble? Ready to rumble. Lucy Williams. Hi. I, can't, I can't welcome you because I'm in your home. <laughs> you can. <laughs> but um, thank you for agreeing to do this in conversation with in your beautiful home, which I'm thrilled to be in. I'm thrilled oh. to be sitting on the most comfortable sofa of all time. <laughs> um, Lucy, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank Thanks. you so that was really fun. Okay, guys, oh, yeah. how did the interview go? I think really well. I thought it was really relatable. Yeah, she's great. She's great. She's really nice, Lucy. 
nice that she's our first one. I feel like it's good chat that you won't hear elsewhere. Felt quite intimate, which is kind of the point. Thanks so much. Bye. 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 You felt me. <laughs> a power nap. Next stop is a drink. I am so touched. Thank you. Yeah. Do I go and I cannot wait to start it. What are you using there, Georgie? What powder is that? This is mine. Oh my god, now what? <laughs> Hi. Panic over. This is the reality of being a working mother when you've got a child at home. Uh, this is Kiko powder, which is cheap, but it's so good and it's thin. And I'm then going to follow up with my Merit with Beverly Hills. It's the best blush. It's a good colour, isn't it? You're not going to get the mini straighteners out in, uh, in prep, are you? Come on. Fair oh. <laughs> 15 minutes. Of a quick, I've got a bit more weight now. I was having a serious laugh and that kind of feels like, oh, what do I do? What I would do to laugh in my bed right now. Beautiful home to a very corporate building. Georgie. Hi. Hey, nice to meet you. you too. I'm Johnny. Hi. 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 H
but I really loved it so much that I had it copied in real gold. This is the Diamond Store, our wonderful client, the Diamond Store, who I love, and I just love this. I think this the design is really unique. This is Brooke Jewelry. I love a bezel diamond. That's like the rub over. That's her too. That's a bezel. Nice. And this is Majuri. Lots of rings today. Cool. And a really, really good mani by Secret Spa. But if you get in a fight, you'll be okay. Especially you have to see my together. Alexander McQueen skull. That would take someone's eye out. Where's that from here? Here, sure. Yeah. yeah. I really like it. It's really reasonable too. And it is diamond and gold. So anyway. Another taxi journey. Another taxi journey. I've had longer days. Uh, we are at Taste of London, where we are a sponsor. I've never been before. We're at Regent's Park. It's a lovely evening. I imagine everybody has got a bit of a thirst on and a bit of hunger, hopefully. I'm hoping to try some really interesting food. Very long queue. A lot of people claiming they're looking for a VIP entrance. I do apologise. You've got to go through this very, very, very. Oh, we're going to a media entry. That's, how you like it. That's not media it's entry. Media, yeah. She said they got off the tube and walked straight across, and it was that entrance, which is that side. But Chanel sling bags are very, very comfortable. If anyone is wondering whether they're worth the investment, we made it. We made it. Yeah. We're in. Yeah. <laughs> the girls have come to save us. They saved us. Oh yay! <laughs> Victoria Mayor, how are you girls? Good! Nice to see you finally. Yeah, I know! Perfect pit stop to the day. What a good oh. evening for I've never been here before. Me neither. <laughs> Guess what you got? It was a strawberry and elderflower, I think, gin. <laughs> melting incredibly quickly. Staying away from Victoria yeah, in her white over here. <laughs> All the people that are here, we've selected some shit out's favourites. Yeah, favourite restaurants we've selected by Heather. How many? Seven. Poppers, Dumplings Legend, Norma, Roti King, Kavita. Kavita. That's the one I was talking about, just sat there. Oh, the Mexican and make that. It's really good. Bar Croquetta, and then Big Mama Group. Here we go, here we go, we've got a pussycat doll. Uh, Henry, Henry. Get it in. Is it time to eat? We're going to go and find some food. I'm, I'm actually pretty freaking hungry. That space out of bagel was a long time. <laughs> We're in Heather's hands, so these are Heather's picks. Can we just go to Love Corn? What's the best flavour? What's the flavour to go for? What do you think? I do like the sour cream one, but it's a bit. I like the salt and vinegar. These are the best. Oh, yeah, no, I like these salt and well, vinegar. Not one. that I'll be hungry on the train home. Just in case. I've Sorry. seen spotted hoppers, which is one of the pits. They do. Well, they're called hoppers. They're like Sri Lankan egg dishes, and they're amazing. So I think we should go and try one. Maybe. Hello, this better be good. This is hoppers chicken. <laughs> I watched you do this now. Every time she puts something in her mouth, she goes, Yeah, I do, so I'm not. Straight away. Have you noticed? Just so I'm not, no one needs to see the content going inside. Because you need, you want some of the actual. Okay, I'm going to do this. Bit. I'm going to do this for the behind the scenes. No, I've not had good. It's really good. It's actually. Yeah. Slow cook. These are our holy moly dips. We've got two that we're sampling today. So we've got our pesto hummus, which is 100% natural. We cold press it so it's super fresh. And we've got our original guacamole cream as well. So come on, talk about some guacamole tortilla chips. Wherever you want. Croquetta. It's like croquetta, Spanish style. It's quite chaotic, I'm not going a duck. If I wasn't vegetarian, that would be my first choice. Why are you? <laughs> <laughs> this is truffle. This looks banging. <laughs> looks amazing. Like really, one of your picks? Yeah. Like really soft in the middle. But then what is this restaurant called? It's Bar Croquetta. <laughs> we need to trust Heather. Wow, look at this setup. <laughs> Food dance is back out. My name is. Try some tofu. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, yeah. This is just regular tofu, is it? So we've got tofu and it's marinated in some of our smoky sauces, a couple of different things, and then we've got salsa, um, 
cheese and a spicy mayo in there as well. Yeah, we will, we will, we will. What do you think? Fruit. So it's made out of soy, nagari and water. So it's like a Japanese version of corn flour basically. Victoria is calling me. She's like, where are you? We've gone off piece on tofu. Tell us the story. She's got a great taste. High in protein, handmade in Yorkshire, organic. We got sidetracked. We got sidetracked by tofu. That's an artichoke. This is arancini. We're at Norma, which is an amazing Italian restaurant which is on Charlotte Street. Food. I was going to say, <laughs> it's not as good as the truffle and sea bass truffle. Yeah. Yeah. Roti King is also incredible, but we're starting to get slightly full. So sorry, Roti King, but yeah, look at the key for it. People yeah, are it's clearly popular. It's very popular. The key. So this restaurant is excellent. It's on Wigmore Street, and I've been a couple of times. Slow pork shoulder, avocado puree, red onion. I only like pork, and it's so good. I'm actually thrilled with how aligned the SLT bar. I've been there and loved it and had a picture. How's it going? It's nice. It's good. Really good. Really good. Yeah. You got a really good write up by a food critic. How many do we have left? That's it. We're not doing it anymore. We're not doing it anymore. Listen to our managing lifestyle editor. She knows what she's talking about. Brilliant, brilliant picks. Yeah, really good. Well done, everybody. That was great. I've eaten so well. Bye. Thanks for Monday. See you later. Goodbye, girls. Bye. See you later. See you soon. She's a busy lady, isn't she? <laughs> exhausted just watching that. Um, all right, we couldn't have you both here and not talk more fashion and specifically tap you on small brands to know. You know, it's great. We all know the big brands are out there. We love them, but it's really nice to get inside at recommendations, isn't it? So, Federica, I'm going to come to you first. Can you recommend some small brands? I mean, I think the answer is yes, based on this. Sense. But tell <laughs> yeah. us about some of the small brands that you're loving at the moment. So the positive thing about having a presence on Instagram is I feel like a lot of smaller brands approach you. Mm. So it's the easiest and most beautiful way to discover new brands. Uh, my top pick would be Bod Bodgar. Uh, I'm actually wearing it right now. Mm. It's a fully sustainable brand. We mm. love a sustainable brand. Um, and uh, they use this incredible material, which is so comfortable. I would say it's in between swimwear and... Can I feel that? Yeah. It's like scuba. Oh, right, yeah. Like, it's got like a know, swimmy. Which is Ooh, fresh, yeah. but it's like, it's so flattering on the body. And uh, again, it's fully sustainable. Um, they play a lot with colors. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm loving them at the moment. I always like to see what's coming out next. Mm -hmm. So I'm loving them at the moment. I mean, right. I'm wearing them. I'm wearing them. <laughs> so yeah. Um, and then I would say second one, Razek. Mm -hmm. They're based in LA and they produce in LA, which we love to see it. Um, I love the founder. She's amazing. They, uh, they were born with trousers. These amazing, I don't know if you're familiar with the brand, no. but they are famous for this amazing high-waisted trousers yeah. that like hug your legs like I need nothing them. else yeah <laughs> we've and been told they're the disco pump brand yeah but camera, yeah. wearing those trousers i literally feel like olivia newton john like Ooh, they're, they're so insane okay. and with matching tops so, so i love them did you guys used to wear the american apparel yeah. trousers yes, exactly. on vault? is it like that that's that Precise, creme de la yeah, creme of that's going that. out okay. with matching corsets yeah. so love Dream. it okay and then i'm loving 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 nafsika scorti mm -hmm. um She's, um, it's two sisters, mm -hmm. they're designers together, um, amazing brand. They do very retro inspired silhouettes mm -hmm. um, and I'm wearing them a lot at the moment because it's just, every time I wear it, they're like, oh my God, people are like, wow. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. like what kind of pieces, what are you wearing? It's, um, so they, they're famous for making like very low waisted, but like big gowns. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how to describe, they're just very retro shapes that you wouldn't necessarily find now mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. like. Yeah, asymmetric everything. I'm yeah. like, the volumes and everything. Yeah. They can see it on screen, it's fine. <laughs> and number four, Bokan. Bokan Couture, uh, Turkish ladies, uh, incredible people. It was born as night nightwear and um, it's basically um, dresses with their gowns, matching gowns. But I feel like it's they're so beautiful. It's such a shame to just wear in the bedroom, mm. if you know what I mean. Yeah. So I actually got a couple pieces to wear in Greece mm -hmm. because these gowns are just 
incredible. It's silk and uh, it's giving Bridgerton, but right. like, they're so easy because it's literally 100% silk. And would you wear them as the set? Would you wear like the nightgown with the... Yes, you wear I, I would because mm. I like it extra, mm -hmm. but it's literally just slip dresses if you don't wear the gown, yeah. so I can actually see you guys. I want it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I can feel this. Yeah. They're actually amazing. Yeah. They're actually, I'm going to show you later. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love all of those. Thank you. I actually, they're like ring bells, but I've probably yeah. heard of any of them. Yeah. Thank you so much. Estee. So I'm not really a fashion girly. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I'm in my pajamas most of the time. Yeah, but like we that. need brands for that too. Yes, so <laughs> yes we do. Mm. But today I'm going to talk about the first brand, Tona, the label, which is a swimwear brand. I love supporting small swimwear brands. I think there's so many cool ones out and Tona is one of my favorites. Well, she did name a bikini after oh, me. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so that is why I love it. But I love her swimwear because it's uh, got bigger cup sizes, mm -hmm. so that's great. So that's Tona. And then another brand I've been loving is Archetype. Mm. I love linen. I would live in linen if I could. I just wish we had the climate here all year round to be in linen. But Archetype is great. They do two-piece linen things and whatever you want, they've got it. Mm -hmm. And then Opera Sports. Maybe this isn't a new brand to most people. No, I but don't know them. Okay, well, I discovered them through my friend Scarlett, who's a makeup artist, and I stole her style, which I think is okay yeah, to yeah, steal your someone's style. Yeah, like <laughs> I saw the bag, I bought it. Yeah, you just have to ask. Yes, yeah, exactly. this has got very heated in the past. <laughs> yeah. on the sofa, but you just have to let them know, right? Yes, I that told her agreement. right as soon as I saw it. Perfect. I said That's I'm all. buying that bag. That's all. Um, and I tagged her on Instagram okay, when fine. I posted it. It's just not about the shady person. No, yeah, exactly. Not Definitely exactly. not. Good. Um, but this is a Scandinavian brand, very sporty, but very chic. Mm. Um, I feel like you can kind of mix and match. And once someone told me they thought my style was sporty, which I thought was weird because I've literally never played sport <laughs> in my life, but I'm kind of going with it because yeah, it's yeah. comfortable. Sport and sporty is like, I mean, it's, I was going to say it's having a moment. It's been, it's a kind of yeah. four year long moment. Yeah. But like, who doesn't want to be, sporty just means comfortable, doesn't it? Yeah, is exactly. that what it means? Well, also for me, because okay. I agree, I'm also not in sports. Um, <laughs> Tona is Boys. awesome. The, like, we should give a special shout out yeah. to Tona because she's yes. also, you know, she's a fashion director. Yes. She knows what she's doing. Yes. Um, and it's all specially designed for bigger boobs as well, exactly. which is hard to find. Okay. Can't um, relate. <laughs> <laughs> you stick to your small brands. Um, all right, that is it for today. Thank you both so much. Um, Nana, we missed you. Uh, next week, Louise Rowe is back with a summer style update with Polly and me, and there will be more BTS with the team. In the meantime, we would love it if you could comment below. Give us a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day, wherever you are. Bye-bye.